Yo, welcome back everybody to another part of the course. So today we're going to be learning about how to work with the navbar functionality. And we're going to have a pretty cool basic of the navbar into our app. And thankfully, React Suite has something that comes right out of the box for that specific thing. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we have to do is we have to create our imports. So I'm going to go ahead and import navbar and nav into our R suite. And the way to use this, it's very, very simple. Thankfully, nav, uh, React Suite makes it very easy. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of my divs right here since we don't need them at all. I'm going to go ahead and inside of my custom provider, I'm gonna go ahead and add a nav bar. And inside of here is where we're gonna be adding all of our stuff. So firstly, what we have to do is, let's go ahead and give it some brand recognition. So I'll do nav bar dot brand. And inside of here is where we can put our images, our words, whatever we want. So in this case, I'll call it the goat course. So now we have a basic looking navbar with a branding right here. Uh, let me zoom out a bit so it's a little bit cleaner. So we have a basic navbar, it extends all the way and we have our branding right there. Now let's go ahead and add some links. So the links are fairly easy to do. All we have to do is we have to do nav and inside of here is where we can encapsulate all of our items. So firstly, what we have to do is we can do nav.item and inside of here is we can add our text with the item. So let's say the next part of the course we'll learn about modals. So I'll type in here modal and I will give it a icon. And for icon, let's go ahead and give it others. This is the closest icon that I could think of for a modal route. Oops, not modal, others, there we go. So now it's just these three dots right here that just represent as other. So now let's go ahead and add some more links. So the next one we'll do is right above this, I'll call it home. And I'll add icons for them later. I'm not worried about them right now. And after this, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and add a, uh, a drop down of items if we wanted, so like a menu. So the way you can do that is nav dot menu. And inside of here is where we have to encapsulate all the menu items. So firstly, the title of this should be, let's call about, let's call it about, and inside of here is gonna contain each nav item. So same thing what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and copy these. And I'll paste in here twice. Let me use prettier to make this look a little better. There we go. Oops, there we go. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. So now we have two links and a drop down with a bunch of other links. And we'll go ahead and also edit these later as the course continues to be whatever they have to be. But for now we have a basic uh, nav bar right here and let's go ahead and add a little bit more branding. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our dark mode toggle button right here and we're gonna put it into our nav bar, but I wanna keep it away from all the other links so a user doesn't accidentally uh, click on it. And thankfully, out of the box, uh, React Suite has our, has our cover for that. So underneath my nav uh, component right here, I'm gonna create another one. And this will have a prop called pull right. So it's gonna push it all the way to the right side so it's away from everything else. And ideally, you know, if you have something like a, a login uh, screen or something that you want uh, some different actions for that aren't regular links, then you can always use this for that as well. But in our case, we're just gonna use it for a regular uh, dark mode light mode button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this button toolbar and I'm just gonna go ahead, and go ahead and paste it inside of a nav item. So I'll do nav.item and I'll paste it inside of there like so. Let me do control P to make it prettier. And now if I zoom out a ton, we should see that it's pulled out. Let me make this bigger, there we go. So now if we are zoomed in a, to 250%, we see that it's pulled all the way to the right and it still works and we have our links right here. Now I did forget to say this a little bit earlier, but if you want to add some different type of appearances to your modals, you can do that. So if you go to the very top in this nav bar, you can give it a prop called appearance. And we have a couple of appearances available to us right now. This is set as default, uh, but we do have inverse, which looks like that. Uh, I would never use that, but um, you also have subtle. And that looks like that. Sort of the same thing, but you don't have really have anything in the background, if you see right there but I'm gonna keep it as the regular default because that just makes the most sense to me. Um, you have a separator between your actual content and your nav bar. Alrighty, so that covers how to work with the nav bar in this library at high level. And in the next video, we'll be learning about how to connect this to a React router. 
so that we have some actual routing happening and we can actually um, display different type of components in different type of routes. So stay tuned for that. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.